Hi guys, today we're gonna talk about clicker training. Now clicker training can be something that is very useful to have in your dog training toolbox. There's a couple things you're gonna need for it. The first thing you're gonna need, obviously, is a clicker. This is a very generic one, sneak peek from Tucker. This is a very generic one from PetSmart. Um, any clicker that you have could do. All it does is you need a clicker that'll make a quick snap. That's all that it does. The other thing you're gonna need is a bag of treats to help you. Now clicker training, also called marker training, is proven to be around 99% more effective than any other type of training. The science behind that is based off of the dog hearing the exact same sound every time they do something right, because their attention span is quite short, if you haven't noticed. You have about roughly two seconds to get inside of a dog's head when they do something right for them to know what you're talking about. Otherwise, their brain will have moved on and they no longer know what they're getting rewarded for. They don't know if they're getting rewarded for staring at you, for sitting, for staring at the sky. They just don't know. So the clicker helps with timing because you can click it right when the dog does what you want. So the first part of clicker training is called loading the clicker. So this is teaching the dog, I know, that the clicker equals food. So this is a pretty easy thing and your dog's really gonna like it. You're literally just gonna click and hand your dog a treat. And hand them a treat. I usually use pretty small pieces because they get a lot of treats during training sessions. Sometimes I literally just let him nibble off of the big one. Pretty soon, they know that as soon as they hear that sound, they get a treat. Yes, good boy. One of the things about clicker training is that you're not always gonna have your clicker on you at all times, yes. Um, so I like to pair it with the word yes, so you have a vocal marker as well as the clicker. I pair them together because the clicker is a more distinct sound that the dog will understand every time, whereas the yes is more of a substitute that you can use in an emergency. Yes, good boy. Um, so to do that, you're really just going to say it at the same time. Yes. He's trying to offer me behaviors because he already knows what a clicker is. Yes. 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 So now that they know what the clicker is and to expect food when they hear the clicker, we're gonna start asking for a behavior and looking for timing. So the ideal is that you want to click the clicker the second that they offer the behavior. So for him, for sakes of the camera, <laughs> I'm gonna do this on a, ha on a high five behavior. So as soon as his hand connects with mine, that is when he's gonna get the click. Yes, good boy. Yes. Good boy. And that way you get just a couple more seconds of time to get that treat so their brain still knows what they got it for. Yes. Unfortunately, the most important part about tr clicker training is also the most difficult. And that's your timing. Because if you start clicking the wrong thing, your dog's gonna start thinking that you want the wrong thing. You'll start seeing a squat instead of a sit if you're clicking too early, or you'll see them just stopping and staring at you instead of doing anything because you click too late. So you can do a couple of practices with this. You can sit on your front porch and watch someone walking. Uh, I know that sounds a little creepy, but sit with your clicker and every time their foot hits the ground, click until you're in beat with them. You can do that with your dog too. Um, we can to basically pick anything that you're seeing happening and try and click a long time with it. That's the best way to get your timing down right. Because the more you miss your timing, the more confusing it's going to be for your dog. Now I'm going to do a couple of exercises where I ask Tucker to do a command and I'm going to click when he does it correctly and you, with your clicker at home, can click along with me and see if you can get your timing exactly right with me, okay? Here we go. Sit. Down, down, stand, yes, sit, good boy, good, touch, good boy, down, good boy, Touch. 
good boy. Touch. Ah. Touch. Yes. <laughs> he just saw himself in the camera. Yeah. Good boy. Sit. And good boy, Tucker. All done. All done. Good man. How well did you do? Let me know. Clicker training can also be used for what I call a bridge. And a bridge is a way to tell a dog, yes, that's what I want. Keep going. So in this case, we're going to use it for a retrieve. Um, I taught this as a multi-command chain. So he's going to get a click for when he gets up to get the toy. He's going to get a click when he picks up the toy. He's going to click when he brings it to me. Um, he's going to click when he lets go. And that's to let him know that each step of the way he's doing something right. So we're going to use this today. Toss it. A ah. little too enthusiastic. Get it. Good. So we got four clicks. Let's try again. Come here. Back. Back. Good. Get it. Yes, good boy. Good dog. And I gave him two because that one was perfect because he waited till it was in my hand to let go. You should a good boy. Done. Good. So that is the basis of clicker training. You can feel free to ask me questions in the comments or you can text me questions if you have questions. Um, this is a pretty solid way to train your dog. If you have questions on how to apply this to other behaviors, you can also ask me those as well. I hope this video helped a little bit. Thanks. Bye-bye.